all of this emergent authoritarianism in the name of cultural progressivism makes me feel that it was never about freedom. That the left was never about freedom. Certainly, it doesn't seem to be about freedom now. Yeah. Why are you just accepting this? Because it, it's, it's a noble thing to blurt out so everybody goes, you're on the right team. That's what it is. Joe Rogan has been on an absolute tear recently when it comes to destroying the woke left, and now Russell Brand is talking about what Joe Rogan has to say as well. As you can see, this video here is, is from Russell Brand, and it's titled, I am done with the left, Joe Rogan blast liberal cult. And if you don't know, Joe Rogan, part of the liberals, you know, definitely is liberal ideology, definitely at least used to be. I don't know if he identifies that anymore, but he definitely used to be very, very liberal in all of his beliefs. Russell Brand, same way. So let's check out what Russell Brand has to say to Joe Rogan blasting the liberal cult, as Russell Brand puts it. And once again, Russell Brand is, or maybe, maybe used to be, I don't know if he still identifies that way, but definitely used to be. You know, in the same boat as Joe Rogan, being very liberal. So it's going to be very interesting to see what Russell Brand has to say to Joe Rogan absolutely nuking the side that Russell Brand either used to be on or still is on. Let's check this out. Look at the idea of Tucker Carlson's recent trip to Russia. It's the left that's saying, well, this is treason. He shouldn't be allowed over there. Russia are the baddies. That's what the right would have said 20, 30 years ago. He's a traitor against our nation. These are the kind of tropes and ideas that were not of the left. Authoritarianism, take the shot. All of this emergent authoritarianism in the name of cultural progressivism makes me feel that it was never about freedom, that the left was never about freedom. Certainly, it doesn't seem to be about freedom now. Yeah. Why are you just accepting this? Because it, it's, it's a noble thing to blurt out. So everybody goes, you're on the right team. That's what it is. Above all, the left used to be about supporting working people against the establishment, whether that establishment was the state or corporations, which were largely believed to have captured the state, which is still what I actually believe. But there's no way that you could say that the left are the party of working ordinary Americans, ordinary British people now. It's elitist, it's progressive, it's exclusive, it's condemnatory, it's patronizing, super silly and haughty, they clearly represent professional, educated, city-class people. There's no doubt about it. If you see someone in a white van flying the flag of their nation, the left hates those people. It's not like, oh my God, what are we doing to San Francisco? It's not like, oh my God, why are we letting these violent criminals out of jail? It's like, yeah. oh my God, why are we defunding the police. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. You can't say any of those things. You say any of those things, you you're just a Nazi. Said it. Whatever you think about those issues, the fact that we can't talk about them is the biggest problem. Shouldn't free speech and the ability to communicate be a shared value across all political spectrums? I would say and it's crazy because in their effort to censor all of these things that Joe Rogan and Russell Brand and the rest of these guys are simply trying to ask questions about, like, why are we doing these? Why are we pushing these certain agendas? Why are we pushing these narratives? All they're trying to do is ask the questions. And it's crazy. It's in in their efforts to silence all of these people, such as Russell Brand, such as Joe Rogan, in answering these questions. What they have done is cause people like Russell Brand and Joe Rogan, who have huge voices, especially Joe Rogan, who has one of the largest, if not the largest, influence out there, to leave their side to completely say, you know what? I'm not asking these questions anymore. I'm making statements now. You people are lunatics. You people are crazy. These things that you're trying to push on others, you're you're insane. Like th this is insanity. So now, in their efforts to silence people like Russell Brand and Joe Rogan, who used to be completely on their side, who started to ask questions, and they're like, no, no, you can't ask those questions. Now, Russell Brand, Joe Rogan, they're completely done with that side. Like, you know what? Screw it. I don't, I don't want to be a part of you people at all. You know, you are crazy. I'm not even asking the question anymore. You're, you're crazy, and everything that you're trying to push on us is stupid, and I'm not following it. So that, that's, it's kind of had a complete reverse effect on them say the side that wants to shut down debate are not the goodies. Whatever your view is, if you're like, I believe the opposite to Joe Rogan on everything. Early release for criminals, compassion to people, belief in true reform. Even if you absolutely believe in that, you should be willing to have a conversation about it. We all should be willing to have a conversation. Otherwise, what are we ultimately going to get? We're going to get conflict and fracture and the breakdown of cultural values. And I start to wonder if that is the name and the point of the experiment. Austin people are great people. They're really nice. They're nice. They're not heads. They're not Hollywood people. They're not lost in this fake world of leftist ideology that everybody's trapped in. They're just people. They're just regular people, man. I've got to say that when I first went to Florida and met all the people that I work with at Rumble and people that are conservative, they're often 
Christian, they believe in traditional values, and you can ask them outright, are you a racist? Do you believe that white people are superior to people of other colours? And if people go, no, I don't believe that, well, what are you going to do? Oh, you're a liar, you are a racist. I mean, what, like, what, if people are being secretly racist, well, then if you're not going to trust anybody's views, what I found when speaking to conservative people is they don't care what I believe in. They just want, basically, to be left alone. Now, I'm sure we could tear each other to shreds over the right to bear arms or pro-life, pro-choice values. Or I'm sure that I could argue with numerous people on numerous subjects. But the fundamental principle of being able to freely and openly discuss our values, that shouldn't be up for negotiation. Because that leads... Well, the reason... Like, obviously, I think there is, you know, higher powers that are influencing these people on the left and, you know, just the woke culture in general. I think there is higher powers who are influencing these people to be like this, to try and shut down free speech and shut down open debate. But also the reason why they don't want to have this open debate with people like Joe Rogan or just have open discussion with people like Joe Rogan, Russell Brand and, you know, Tim Pool and the rest of them. The reason why they don't want to have the open debate and they decline to go on their shows and decline to do interviews with them and stuff is because their narratives don't hold up whenever the facts are pulled out. Like, it's very easy for someone like Russell Brand or Joe Rogan or any of these guys to win a debate against people who don't agree with them or who try to shut down their free speech and their right to, to ask these questions. Is because when you bring out the facts and you just bring out the logic, their argument falls apart 99% of the time. So that's why. Obviously, there are higher powers who are influencing these people, but... I, you know, it, it ultimately comes down to these people's arguments just completely falling apart whenever you start to bring out facts and logic. That's what it comes down to. It leads to hysteria when Tucker goes to Russia to speak to Putin. It leads to censorship. It leads to the legitimization of controlling social media spaces. It leads to government interventionism. It leads to being told things like war is the only route to peace. It's leading to a kind of madness. These blue bubbles where everyone's gone insane. Well, I used to be a part of the blue bubble. I was 100%. I never voted Republican my whole life. I was very left-leaning. Even from a strategic perspective, if you can't get your movement together to get Joe Rogan Rogan on your side, you're a mess. Like, this is someone that could be going out to bat for the Democrat party, that could be going, hello, I'm Joe Rogan, here's Gavin Newsom on my podcast, here's Joe Biden. Joe, wake up, Joe, wake up! But to sort of go, we don't like him, he's a meathead, he's an idiot, like, oh my god, who do you want to exclude next? And as I've said to you before, I think it's become an elitist authoritarian organisation that doesn't like working or blue collar people. That's been insidiously creeping in for a while, from Clinton and Blair in our country onwards, and that was enshrined in policy, in our country at least. Ordinary people got abandoned, so the left had to justify that by saying, those people, we should abandon them. And who we're looking after is vulnerable minority groups. That's what it's done, in my view, in order to give itself a moral backbone, which it now lacks, because it has no raison d'etre, it has no purpose, because it's essentially the same as any party that goes, we're here to support the interests of big business and globalism. There isn't anything else they're offering, except for, oh yeah, we think these groups are getting a hard time. And those groups, historically, have been getting a hard time. But again, most people are willing to say, you do your thing, we'll do our thing. That, along with an ongoing dialogue, is the only solution to this, as far as I can see. Especially with, like, any social issues. When it comes to financial things, I'm a little bit more conservative, but at the end of the day, I'm way more left than I am right. But California went nuts, man. It's gone, like, full communist. It's out of its mind and their approach to law enforcement is so insane it's so insane the no cash bail the letting people out for committing violent crimes the and st not stopping people for stealing up to whatever money it is. is what is it nine hundred dollars now I think they raised it I think they made it a little higher San Francisco is non-existent San Francisco, most of San Francisco is emptied out of like big chain stores and big department stores. Cause they, I, I, would, I won't even do stand up there anymore. It's crazy. It's, they ruined it. Amazing and interesting. And again, if someone who plainly speaks to so many ordinary Americans in the way that Joe Rogan does in an unprecedented way can't be reached, that is a barometer that should be. That's true. And like I said, they have they have ostracized him. They've alienated Joe Rogan by not allowing him to ask questions. You know, if you remember back in 2020 or 2021, started asking questions about, you know, the pandy. And then when the jab came out, started asking a few questions about that, not making hardcore statements either way, started asking questions. And then they shut him down and said, you are not a true leftist. You are the enemy. You are, you know, a Yahtzee, that 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 word that I can't say. You're, you're that thing. And it's like, OK, if that happens to you enough times, you eventually are like, well, if I can't literally ask any question ever, then I don't want to be a part of you people. I don't support you people anymore.
you know, that's just that's just how it, how it goes. And that's what's happened to Russell Brand. That's what's happened to people like Joe Rogan. Happy to have Joe Rogan, you know, on our side, at least a little bit, at least for the most part, you know, at least at least standing against the absolute lunatics out there, the absolute insanity. Uh, he is one of the most influential people out there. And it seems like a lot more people coming over to this side recently. Let me know what you guys think about what Joe Rogan had to say. And what, you know, how Russell Brand reacted to the whole thing. Like I said, Joe Rogan saying that he's done with the left and blasting the liberal cult where Joe Rogan and Russell Brand used to be a part of that cult, used to be a part of that group of people. So let me know in the comments what you think about Joe Rogan and what he had to say. And also, what do you think about Russell Brand and his reaction to Joe Rogan? Let me know in the comments.